Hey guys, Deco here. This is my new 1 1 pixel display because the old one is broken. This is an almost completely new concept. It's a lot faster and much more reliable, and it only works in 1.5 though. And um, yeah, so uh, let's check it out. So this is going to be pick 1. So you just saw that going very, very quickly. It's almost instant to do it, just to go actually to react, it takes some more time. But this is the second one. So that also went pretty quickly, it just has to reset the reset the previous picture and then load the new one, so it takes a little bit longer. And then just reset it again. And yeah, so there we go. Um, so you might be wondering how this works, um, because in 13w9b, that's this is the reason why the old one is broken. Um, if I were to power this block, it's going to extend both these pistons, and that didn't happen in 1.4. At the first update, this piston force would extend because there's still a bud. But now, a piston which is extending this base here, just so this part, will actually update others around it. And I really kind of like the change, it makes life a lot easier. But it actually, like, makes some things much harder. But basically, the old 1.1 pixel display relied on doing this and then using this to reset it. But now I actually have to power this as well in order to re reset it all the way. So I need to go all the way down in order to reset that. So if I want to get this block over here, I would have to do this. Now it doesn't actually have to be that order. I can also do this. You just start do that and then reset it like this. And it's actually doing um, basically these three at the same time and then these two at the same time. Or the other way around. It really doesn't matter what um, these T flip flop thingies. Because it relies on pistons actually spitting out the block, obviously. And I'm also not tricking you. This is truly um, a 1 1 pixel display. You can see all the pistons here. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you. So back here I have the ROM set up. And this is another picture. It's kind of big. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really like the ROM. Maybe I'll ever find a better way to do it. There probably is a much better way to do it, but I don't like all the buses going up like this. But yeah. Um, then what I basically have to do, every time I change the picture, I need to send a pulse into this. Basically what this would do is it would fire these repeaters and depending on whether these pistons are extended it's going to power this input and it's also if these depending on whether this piston is retracted it's going to power that redstone right there and so it's going to power that input and the ROM actually um, tells the, the display whether to extend or retract those pistons and that's what this part here does and then basically I have some timings here to make it first reset it and then it's gonna turn off the picture which was on then it's gonna turn on the other picture and then it's gonna send another pulse so that's um, that actually does need a few very very specific timings um, I actually sped this up to the half tick so um, it's still very reliable, which I'm really happy about. There's almost no un inconsistencies. The only problem is there's still a few, very few orientation bugs in 1.5. I'm currently actually on the pre-release. You can see up here, I'm on 1.5, and uh, there's actually a lot more FPS as well. But, yeah, so over here, I have a little bit of a demo for you set up. Um, to play around with how to set your own picture if you want to use this display. So, to set whether a pic whether um, for example this repeater has to fire, I would have to do this, make this a block. So it would actually power this piston here. 
And for the next row, I just have to remove this block, and I just like to replace it with a glowstone, so I can easily see that it's actually on. It's just a bit better these lights. And so now it will fa fire these two inputs, so this one and this one, because I turned on both of the second input thingies. Actually, this is the first one, so it's gonna do these and these. Let's just press this button here. There you go. And then you just send it again to reset the, the pixel and then you set the next ROM. You turn it on and they send another pulse to load that. Um, so that's basically how that works and then in order to, for example, power these two pistons, I power just this repeater. For these two, I power this repeater. But for just this piston here, I power all these repeaters going down from this repeater here, from the second one because it's the second piston. To power this one and this one, I need to power this repeater, this repeater, and then this repeater. Actually, this repeater and this repeater at the same time, and then this repeater. That's what it does. So to be very quick, you know. So the, what that would do is it would do first this, and then bring these back into the thing. And it's pretty much the same for doing this. That's just two. So it's this one and this one. It would do this, and then it would do switch these two here. So it would do this. So it's not too hard to set up it, to set it up, but I don't really see um, uh, easy logic to apply to it. You just have to think about what to do. But yeah, so that's all there is to that. And um, yeah, so I'll leave this world in the description, and uh, I hope you like it. And I'll see you guys next time.